So something you might notice in a lot of my other videos, pretty much when I was younger, I grew up on a lot of um, probably media that I, I honestly probably shouldn't have seen at such a young age. And so words like fuck, words like shit, words like ass, things like this were just sort of ingrained into me. So that's just the way that I, you know, kind of fucking speak, you know? Basically, in my mind, you know, these words are just sort of ingrained. They're just stuff that I say. That's just stuff that I, you know, put in between my words to make them, you know, stand out a bit more. Make them a bit more, uh, you know? And, you know, because there's, a, there's like a, a really big difference between, hey, look at that thing over there, and hey, look at that fucking thing over there. You know what I mean? It seems small, but there's a pretty big difference. All right, but something that I've never gotten about them is that, you know, language is literally just used to, you know, um, relay messages to something else, someone else, you know? And the thing is, is that some people, they just don't like the messages being relayed, you know what I mean? But the thing that I don't get about it is that then what's the fucking point of it, you know what I mean? Is that sort of, there's no point to being opposed to them. They're literally just words, you know, and I mean, this goes with any words, you know, slurs, bad, normal bad words, you know, slurs, everything. There's literally, uh, they, you know, they don't hurt you, you know, if you didn't know that, now you do, all right? And this, I'm not trying to be like the whole, you know, stop being so, um, offended or whatever. You know, you can be, you can have hurt feelings. It's this thing that I don't get where people hold up these words so much. And that's where we get on the topic of slurs. All right, and something that's weird is that there's a hierarchy of slurs. All right, there's the bottom slurs. There's retarded. You know, you hear someone say, "Oh, that's retarded." You know, some people would be like, "Oh," Ugh. you know, and other people would be like, "Oh, that's fine." And you heard the, hear the word "faggot," and some people are like, you know, and then people are like, oh. you know, and you hear the N word, which is literally so bad of a word that everyone just colloquially knows it as the n-word all right and to literally say the word to, you know if everyone's like what which one which n-word to literally just say it then a lot of people would be like oh my god you're witchy you're witchy oh my god you're witchy and this is the thing where i, I cringe a little bit where you know all these people are like cancel culture is so bad because it really depends on the type of people not only you know content creators but also you know type of people that you cultivate around you you know uh everybody that you talk to every little action it's sort of, you fold, you mold the people who are, uh, who you want to hang around with, the type of people that you get along with, right? You could say the type of people that you just feel all flowery inside for, and you feel so good about them, you know? All these people, when you just live your normal day life, you're molding what type of people they are, all right? And that goes with content creation, you know? So you could see all these people like Shane Dawson, you know, who... He molds this sort of fan base that whenever he says a meanie word, whenever he does a meanie thing, a bad thing, you know, these are the type of people to go on Twitter and be like, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe he said that. You know what I mean? They, they literally manufacture, they literally create the type of people that would go on, they go on to, you know, destroy them, right? You know, they literally manufacture it. And you get other people like, I don't know, Alex Jones or Jordan Peterson or some shit like that where he cultivates type of people that wouldn't do that. So it's not cancel culture as much as it is, as much as it is um, people who, they make up a fan base of people who are sort of, you know, they're sort of rallying against them before they even have a cause, you know, at all. They're just like, they're always on the ready to just go to grab their pitchforks, you know what I mean? And that's the thing, is sending with the inward because it's so weird for me. I was raised on, you know, uh, you know, the time that I was young, you know, the type of content I was watching, it was sort of normal, but it was still in the middle of, you know, shocking and normal to say the N-word. You know, they say faggot, say retard, everything like that, you know, with people like i -dubs would just say it out loud, you know what I mean? Just like, like scream it sometimes, you know? And the thing is, is that even then, it was still, you know, in the middle, all right? And, um... You know, he even then it was sort of the only reason he would say it is because you know that some people don't like it, and that's the only reason that you would ever say the N word, really. But pretty much, those are the two ways that slurs can be used nowadays. Is one, if you're <laughs> get this an actually bad person, and just use them to you know just 
say it to like the people who actually are that thing you know what i mean and then there's you know the other one which is just a shock like when i say retard or faggot you know it's ultimately just sort of shocking it's what i was saying with the bad words it's sort of that sauce you know what i mean it's sort of that sauce that adds on to a word and sort of makes it you know a little bit more you know a little bit more oomph to it you know uh and that's the thing is it's no matter what it's used to shock people all right and that's the thing that you know i'm trying to say about this is that i think it's just stupid to be shocked about them at all you know what i mean in either context it's really stupid to be shocked about them if someone says it to someone says the n-word to a black guy just be like wow you're an asshole you know and that's the thing the death of assholes all right on the internet now you can't just be an asshole you have to be the evil person you have to be evil you can't just be rude you can't just be a jerk you can't just be oh man a meaty head you have to be the worst person you're either an angel who who was made in the good graces of god or the, the worst person you've ever seen who eats fucking babies for a living you, there's no in between there's no there's no spectrum here you know it's just good guy bad guy that's it that's literally it. all right and the thing is it's not how the real world is but you know that's how a lot of people on the internet act everything like that and you know i think it's stupid i think it's just stupid as hell like very very stupid like really really very stupid you know what i mean and uh you know <laughs> yeah ain't that something <laughs> It's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>